So I just recently made a video about a research study on age reversal, and this study was conducted by a team of Harvard researchers, including the infamous Dr. David Sinclair himself. Now he posted about it on Twitter. There's, there's a lot of Twitter drama going on, or you could call it X drama, I guess. That's what Twitter is going to be renamed to. I'm not quite sure. I'm not super involved with Twitter, but honestly, I've been on it since its inception from the very beginning. My account is so old. Now, with that aside, I've received a lot of interest and comments in my last video. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to link to it down below. The interest has been in what chemicals or supplements or medications were said to be successful in that Sinclair or Harvard study that I just shared about. And I'm going to share what those are. And in addition to that, there's one specific one in particular that I think we should really look into a little bit more. It's very interesting and kind of fascinating with what David Sinclair said about this one in particular. Before we get into it, I wanna share one tiny little disclaimer. I'm sure this is not necessary, but a lot of us here are biohackers. Some of you guys are a lot older than me. You're probably wondering why you're even listening to me at all. I'm 40, by the way, I'm not the youngest person here, you know, but we can explore different options at different ages. The reason I brought that age up is because when you're older than me, let's say you're like in your 60s, you might look at things differently. So different things that I might consider slightly risky, you might just go for it because you're getting a little bit older than me and this is not coming out right now. You know what I, where I'm going with this. Just get away your options, depends on your age, depends on your health, all those factors. One thing that I've noticed when researching a lot of different supplements, I am involved in researching supplements quite a lot and I realized that a lot of supplements out there are not as heavily studied as you would think. So you may be interested in taking something because you hear something good about it and you might wanna look into it more. I'm not saying it's dangerous or bad or anything, but just be aware that some supplements are so not researched very much. And that was something that came as a surprise to me, so I wanted to share it with you. In addition to that, it's hard to even trust the research when there's so many other factors going into it and so many investors and companies and different things involved. This is a big industry. So with that aside, I wanna get into the details of these chemical combinations from the study. They said that three of the combinations, C1, C2, and C3, reduced the age by more than three years after only four days of treatment. So we're gonna first look at what was used in those combinations. There were six total combinations that were said to be successful. For C1 chemicals, there were five total. Velproic acid was one, and it's a prescription medication that is primarily used to treat epilepsy or bipolar disorder. It's not available over the counter in the United States, but maybe in other countries. The next two, I'm gonna put them on the screen. These are compounds that are sold to labs. They're just basically used in lab settings for testing purposes. These are not um, for human consumption or for use as a supplement. This one is a prescription medication classified as an antidepressant, and it is obviously not available as an over-the-counter supplement. Now this product right here, or molecule, it is actually available as a supplement, and it's quite cheap from what I've looked at. It sells for between six to $12, and I mean, I'm sure that varies, but that's what I've found. And some of the reviews of that supplement that I've read People are saying that they lost their cravings for sweet. Some people are claiming that they lost weight while taking this. According to some research, it may lower blood glucose levels. If that's something you're looking for, I feel like berberine is a good option and it's something that has been studied, I believe, more extensively for that purpose. Actually, berberine's become really popular. A side note, recently on TikTok, of all places, uh, because people are looking for Ozempic and they're looking for an alternative to it. And guess what? Berberine comes up as a great option. So just want to throw that out there. Now, the C2 chemicals in this combination, sodium butyrate was added. This is a compound that is a supplement. As a supplement, it's used to help with gut health and GI related issues. Butyric acid is a preferred energy source for the cells lining the colon and it may promote the health of your intestinal lining. It's also been studied for potential anti-inflammatory and immune modulating effects. In this combination, BFGF replaced sodium butyrate. Now, BFGF acts as a potent mitogen, 
meaning it stimulates cell division and proliferation. Now, I don't want to get further into the weeds of the science behind what it does, but I can say that it is used often in lab research when it comes to testing out different things related to pluripotent stem cells. This is something that is not something that you can just purchase. It is for lab use under controlled conditions. Like I said, there were six chemical combinations or cocktails that were said to be successful for age reversal, according to Sinclair and those in the study. One of them in particular, which was a part of the combination number six, was alpha ketoglutarate. If you don't know what that is, it's a naturally occurring or organic compound that's used by the body as part of an energy cycle. So it's also used to make amino acids, which are the building blocks of proteins. When I'm talking about this, you may hear me say CAAKG or AKG. Both of those are kind of similar. CAAKG, which is calcium alpha ketoglutarate. It's a calcium salt of the molecule AKG. It's a form that is said to be more readily utilized or more bioavailable, better absorbed into the body than just regular AKG. Now, if I'm talking about AKG in a study or if I'm referencing it here in a second, either one, you can kind of think of them as the same thing. There's this amazing uh, groundswell of interest in the ability, uh, not just to understand why we age, but as I wrote on my book, why we don't have to. And this breakthrough was the ability to turn on and we discovered three genes in particular were very safe to be able to reverse aging by about 60 to 75 percent. These three genes um, are called OCT4, SOX2, and KLF4. Uh, we call them OS and K for short. And these OSK genes are normally only switched on in embryos. Uh, they keep stem cells young. Um, and they're part of a set of genes that are named after a scientist called uh, Shinya Yamanaka in Japan, who won the Nobel Prize for the discovery of how to turn an adult stem, uh, adult cell, like a skin cell, back into a stem cell. Uh, but what we did was we, we reasoned that if we took a, just a few of those genes, we wouldn't make our bodies go back to a stem cell because that would turn us into a tumor. It would take us partially back in a, in, in a safe way and rejuvenate the cell without making the cell lose its identity and become a cancer. And that worked. So what, one interesting molecule is called alpha-ketoglutarate. And it is a, a molecule that's typically used by the body as part of an energy cycle. Uh, it's also used to make amino acids. It's, it's a pretty common molecule. But what was discovered is that those three genes that we reversed aging with um, in the mouse and in human cells uh, can be activated or assisted by this alpha-ketoglutarate or AKG. And uh, if you put it on human cells, the, their age goes backwards. We can measure that very accurately now by reading the chemical changes on the genome, on the DNA. Um, and so alpha-ketoglutarate seems very safe. Uh, you can take it as a pill. And there are some, I would say, early uh, and in need of verification studies that show that the, the age of the blood in people that take this molecule goes backwards um, by years, in fact. And alpha-ketoglutarate, if you feed that to mice, they actually live longer and are healthier. Well, this isn't my research. Uh, we're doing research, but what I'm telling you is research that's out of other labs. Brian Kennedy is a leader in this field. He's over in Singapore. I trained with him uh, in the 1990s, so it's, uh, I know him very well in his research and I trust him. There's recently a mouse study on the use of CAAKG, and I found the study to be so interesting, I just want to share some of the results with you. In the study, the CAAKG supplementation was shown to extend health span of both female and male mice and significantly reduce chronic inflammation, illness, and frailty. Now, Sinclair mentioned this study in a Twitter post, and he said, feeding 18-month-old female mice AKG reduced hair graying, frailty, and extended median lifespan by 10 to 16%. You can see the differences in the mice and you can see this chart. I just thought that was very interesting and I think that's something we could look into a little bit more. I personally need to do a lot more research on it. I'm not taking it. There are a lot of brands that are selling it. Um, maybe I'll link to some down below. Please let me know what you think about all of this down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and take care. If you like this video, please check out one of these videos next.